the sun comes up, satisfied before the day has passed us by, before our hearts forget, before our hearts forget. Oh, your goodness satisfies us with your love. Won't you do it? Satisfies us with your love. Oh, satisfies us with your love. Hi everyone. The cost of salvation is free. But the cost of following Christ is enormous. That uh, comes through in lots of different places in Scripture, but I want to try to pick up on it a little bit out of the prophet Joel, reading from uh, the second chapter. And he says, Even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and with mourning. Rend your hearts, not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and relents from punishing. I like that idea, because as you think about it, the gift that God gives us is out of his gracious heart. God, above all else, wants to save us. And the saving that he does for us is not because of anything we do. There is no way we can stand next to the gift of salvation with anything but humility in our heart. Because there is nothing we can do to earn it. There is nothing that we can say that to say that we deserve it. And so it is one of those things that is impossible to describe this gift of God that he bestows upon us. And the enormity of this gift is beyond our comprehension. The idea that we would be called children of God and that we would be sealed forever to be with Christ. That is something you just simply can't fathom here and now, the enormity of that. But the more we get our heads around that, the more we see this is an amazing thing that we are simply and humbly offered the opportunity by God to become more than what we can imagine. To become more than what we are right now. That is this idea of following Christ. And this idea of following Christ comes with difficulty because it is there that we begin to discover the cost of what it takes to follow Christ. Because to follow Christ means that we have to walk into the suffering of this world. We have to walk into the brokenness of this world and bring his heart to serve with his love. To demonstrate the love that we ourselves have received. And that is something that we just can't, that is very difficult for us to do. It's not we can't, but it's very difficult for us to do because we have to offer ourselves to Christ fully because he's going to ask us to do things that we've never done before. And that it is only in Christ that we can do those. And so I invite you, to think about what does it mean to be the hands and feet of Christ, that cost of following him in this world. The cost of salvation is free. It costs us nothing. But the cost of discipleship, on the other hand, costs us everything. Dare I say, even our lives. I want to read a, a prayer um, from a pastor that I think kind of captures this. 
as I close today. He says, Hear, O God, I pray for a realization of my condition before your eyes. Help me to see and know myself as you see and know me. Give me clear insight into my relationship with you. Let me know myself as you know me. Give me assurance that I belong to you. Remove from the, me those nagging fears and needless doubts that I may not be good enough to be numbered in the great number of the company of heaven. On the other hand, if I am living in separation from you, if I am more creature of evil than child of God, O oh great physician, use your convincing scalpel on me. Perform within me the surgery necessary to heal me from all of my soul sickness. Christ, I abandon myself to you. Do whatever is necessary to assure my entrance into eternal life. Amen. That's my prayer for us too. Is that we would abandon ourselves and pay the cost of what it means to follow Christ with nothing less than our whole hearts. Would you pray with me please? Lord, thank you that you are here, you are among us, and you are calling us to lay down our very lives for your sake. Lord, we do this even as we follow your great example. For in laying our lives down, we find life, life to the full, life more than we can imagine, life that is satisfying and fulfilling and always a great adventure. Thank you, Lord, that you never leave us nor forsake us. Convince us of our salvation in you and our need to lay down ourselves before you. I ask that in your name. Amen. Tomorrow is the first Wednesday of March, which means it's first Wednesdays. At 6.30, we'll be talking about relieving financial stress. We invite you to join us at 6.30, either in person at Faith or online um, as we stream it. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, what it means to get some freedom from financial stress. Then we will uh, be following that up on March 9th with uh, something called uh, Financial Peace University. And so if, uh, if this is something or someone you're in your life you know about that could benefit from that, I encourage you to invite them to attend it. It will be well worth it. So we invite you to do that as well. Also, we want to let you know that um, we are also going to be planning a town hall meeting for next Monday night, the 8th of March at uh, 630. It will be in person as well as on Zoom as we talk about our succession plan that we have for us going forward. So look forward to uh, seeing all of you and uh, also uh, be thinking about uh, Easter. We have an Easter outreach event coming out. There's some uh, more information. It'll be on Saturday before Easter. It'll be an opportunity to reach out into our community with the love of Christ. So we invite you to be thinking about that as well. So I hope you have a good day. God bless everybody. Bye-bye now.